Groundbreaking research is being done right here in Seattle at the Allen Institute, where scientists have unlocked another mystery with Alzheimer's. It's an effort to understand how all the different kinds of cells that we have in our brain are being affected or being lost or being changed in some way in Alzheimer's disease. Kyle Travaglini and Mariano Gabito analyzed over 3.4 million cells from 84 donor brains. By creating a detailed map of the damage that occurs during the disease, they discovered which cells are changing or dying as Alzheimer's progresses. We were able to pinpoint to the very first types of cells that uh, were being impacted by disease. Which ones are the first neurons that are, are dying as Alzheimer's disease starts progressing and, and taking over the brain? For decades, scientists focused on the buildup of proteins that could be the cause of Alzheimer's. This new study just published in Nature Neuroscience focuses on specific cells that may damage the brain in two different phases. Detecting those cellular changes early could lead to treatment before symptoms show up. And now we could think that maybe we can create therapeutics targeting those cells and see what could happen if we can recover, alter, uh, or you know, like protect th those cells. We're really just trying to think of Alzheimer's disease both as a disease of how proteins are building up, but then also a disruption into how the neurons in our brains are actually communicating with one another. For Travaglini, researching Alzheimer's is personal. In college, his grandmother was diagnosed with the disease, fueling his desire to understand what happened to her and others who are being robbed of their memory, language, and movement. I think it's exciting because it's, it's that start of that road to kind of new targets for disease.